My name is Tim Kelly. I'm the curator for the Art of the Taco series, which is a group art show featuring local artists and musicians, and we usually raise money for a good cause. This show is the Art of the Taco number 10, and we're raising money for Camp Jenka. Camp Jenka is offered to kids and teens who are affected by the diagnosis of a brain tumor, themselves or a family member, and we have a lot of survivors that are kids, and um, we just try to do as many things to enrich their life and that interest them on a personal level. Families who are going through a you know a intense medical situation um, are in hospitals all the time, and it could be really stressful. And Surf Taco is really a cool, fun place. The vibe is just a, a way that makes people feel good. So you take people who are stressed and you put them in a place like this to make art and you know it's magic. Uh, my husband passed away of a brain tumor six years ago so um, along with Tim and Judy and uh, the Rob Nagel of Surf Taco they've supported us and helped us do all this great fundraising and also helped me become an artist again because I kind of let it all go uh, when my husband was sick and he passed so this is now my kind of my outlet. I took this photo uh, about a week or two after the hurricane and we kind of snuck up onto the pier. You weren't allowed to be in Seaside yet. Um, and I ran up onto the beach and one of the cops came up and he was yelling at us and I just, I just took off. I'm like, I'm gonna get this photo. I need this photo. I don't care what he does to me. <laughs> It's like a way to give back, you know. I've been given so much in my life and I've been very blessed and fortunate not to have a disease like that. So for me, my way of giving back was donating my art. So I'm just really excited to, you know, show my work and hopefully people love it and brings them to a good place. That's what I wanted to show with the, um, the flowers and the roller coaster, kind of like, you know, a hope. I like to call it hope because, you know, wherever there's a negative, there's a positive, and a lot of positive has come from Hurricane Sandy. I'm also, on top of being a graphic designer, I am uh, a fine artist, and I created a series called Similar Alien. It's a metaphorical series about art, life, love, and pop culture. You know, sometimes you feel different, sometimes you feel unique, you feel alien. You don't feel like everybody else. Sometimes you're in a relationship, you look at your partner like they're from another planet, Maybe they look at you like you're an alien. See, this alien has been to both Mars and Venus, and you can assure you there are no women there. This is the Alien Last Supper. My mother doesn't like that one. Everybody's favorite, alien Jimi Hendrix. He was definitely an alien. I got involved probably about four years ago. Uh, met Tim at one of the other shows, and he got me on board with the Puzzle Project. Now the puzzle project consists of thousands of unique puzzle pieces connected together into a large jigsaw art installation. Now the cool part is it all began with Surf Taco. We started at the Monmouth County Arts Council uh, Teen Arts Festival in 2009. We received our funding from Surf Taco in order to buy the sheets of foam core, cut them to pieces, and create 800 unique artistic puzzle pieces. When the Teen Arts Festival was over, everybody was asking me what's next. And so we kept going, and now we're at over 6,000 pieces in more than 20 states and 10 countries. So that's all thanks to Surf Taco. Hey, this is Ron from Surf Taco Jackson. I've worked for Surf Taco since I was a teenager, and it didn't take me long to realize that this is more than just a restaurant. It's a way of life. And it's events like the Art of the Taco that make you realize that this is more than just a business. It's a Jersey Shore original. Surf Taco.